Hi everyone, this is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center and today we're really excited to announce that we've got a new pontoon line, uh, new for 2019 at Buckeye is Barletta Pontoons. Uh, Barletta is a, a new, uh, cool, um, you know, very premium, high-end pontoon brand that there's a lot of buzz and excitement about in the industry and we're really, really happy and proud to be a partner with Barletta. Uh, they've selected a limited number of dealers and most of the dealers that they've selected are, are pretty, uh, you know, pretty prestigious, pretty, uh, you know, well-known dealers. So we're really, really happy to be a part of it. Today, this video is going to be talking about a couple different elements of the Barletta pontoons. We're going to get inside uh, their L series, which is their luxury series, and, uh, you know, go through the two floor plans that, uh, that we have in stock here, which are more or less the two floor plans they offer and then we're going to get into the features of the boats and then we're after that we're going to get into the construction of the boats um, and you know what makes Barletta different unique and, and cool in the marketplace so Barletta is a, a brand new boat company in the business there's you know if you think about boat brands out there there's not a lot of new brand names a lot of the brand names that you see and hear about are old brand names uh, but Barletta is different um, you know they want to they have a couple kind of core principles as kind of a premium high-end brand and you know, me not only as a dealer and as a you know a company, but also as a consumer, I really really resonate with what they're trying to do. I you know if I'm personally look shopping for a pontoon boat, I get on the company's websites and I look at the overhead shots of the floor plan, and there's like 87 floor plans available, and I just get overwhelmed very quickly. Now I get into the build a boat, and now there's another 75 options I can select. Uh, one of the cool core principles of Barletta is keep it simple. Um, you know, high-end luxury, but you know, if you look at their floor plan layouts and their luxury series, there's more or less two floor plans, three different sizes, and then a couple variations where you can put the captain's chair, but that's it. You know, they pick the two best ones, uh, then they, they dominate in those two realms, and that makes things easier in their production line, their quality's better, they can get better, you know, material prices from their, from their vendors. Um, and then their option list, instead of having 87 options, there's like six. There's, you know, there's a lighting package and then there's a, you know, the blackout package, which we'll talk about, and you know, a couple other options, but it's very, very simple. Most everything on the boat is standard, and we'll go through that shortly. That's one of the nice things I really like about this brand is that it's 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 a great product, great quality but they keep it simple and it's not a difficult line to buy, it's not a difficult line to kind of figure out what you want. It, it's, it, you know, if your dealer has the boat in stock, there's not, it's not missing those five options that you really wanted, it, it's already there. So, um, you know, so it's very, very, makes it very, very easy. So it's, it's a cool thing and now we're gonna get to, into talking about the product. So the first boat we're gonna talk about is the L25 UC um, and what the designators mean, obviously 25 means 25 foot, um, the U is the Ultra Lounger, which is the configuration of this seat back here, which we'll talk about shortly. Um, and then the C means you have two captain's chairs. So if it was just the U, this would be a longer bench seat. Most of our customers and most of what we feel is people are gonna want is the two captain's chairs um, in, the, in this boat. So that's what the C stands for. Um, so in this boat, you've got uh, you know, two long, nice front benches with a tons of seat for three or four people on each side. And then you've got the uh, ultra lounger in the back, which you can face forward like it is now. You can have this seat facing backward like it is right there. You can actually lay it 100% flat like it is right there, which is pretty slick. So there's three positions. And then in addition to that, you have this cool little kick up in the back where you can adjust the height and the angle of these seats facing forward and you've got grab handles and everything like that but both of these seats in the back can go up as well so a very very cool unique lounger in the back that's why they call it the ultra lounger which is a really really cool this is one of the first things that drew me that really excited me about Barletta was was this layout which is just really well designed so the next configuration we're going to talk about this one is the L23 uh, QC and the Q stands for quad. So if you think about it, you've got four bench seats in each corner. Therefore, it's a quad and then it has the captain's chair here. Um, this is available also in a 25 or a 21. And this is kind of maximizing your number of seats in the boat. You know, you can, you know, sit in this, any of these quad seats, 
either facing sideways if you want to get two or three people on each side, or you can kick it up and make it kind of more of a rear lounger, kick your feet up and uh, sit that way. So it's a very, very versatile seating layout to kind of maximize the number of seats in the boat. So again, a very, very popular, you know, setup where, uh, you know, Barletta is not going to do the obscure, weird configurations. They're going to do the bread and butter ones that, that most people want. So now with Barletta, we want to talk about some of their cool, you know, standard features or features that are included um, in the boats. Um, one of the things that typically you'll find in tri-tunes are ski lockers. A lot of times the door of that ski locker is very narrow and you can get maybe a pair of skis or th through the door, but this one's wide enough to, you know, put a wakeboard in there um, and, you know, obviously has a nice gas assist shock. So a good, you know, good fit and finish on this. So one of the, the coolest features and one of the most noticeable features when you first look at a Barletta is the, the rear and the transom area. Um, you've got these huge extended aft deck areas that, that go further past the log. So this particular boat is a 23 footer. That's the log size. It's actually 23 six for the log size. And then you get an additional two feet of extra platform put on the back. So, you know, really usable space makes it just, you know, just, just a great, great layout for um, just getting on and off the boat or kids jumping and swimming off the ladder. Obviously it has a great, you know, five step stainless steel ladder. Um, another thing that I like on this side, all the L series is going to come with the little cooler on the back. So this cooler has a drain. You can use it as a cooler. You can also drop, a, it actually is a perfect size to drop in one of the Yeti uh, you know, coolers that you can, you know, fill up at home and then just drop the Yeti cooler in there. So it's a very, very cool little cubby area that you can use for storage. You can put an anchor in there. You can do whatever you want, but it's kind of designed to be a cooler. Other cool things, the ski tow bar is a standard feature. Um, there's fender holders that go in here so you can put your fenders in there. Um, one of the other things that doesn't sound like much, but if you ever owned a pontoon boat and depending on where the gas fill is, you get a lot of you know, you know, blow bag. This is a direct fill, vertical fill right here, right in the middle. So you can fill it from either side. Um, and it doesn't blow back at you like when it's a lot of the side mounts do. So that's again, another cool user-friendly feature. So the first thing that, that I noticed when I got inside the Barletta, started looking around and you know touching, feeling things, um, the furniture is just the best I've ever been in in a pontoon boat. Um, you know, a lot of times the furniture in a pontoon boat's a little stiff. Um, you know, this stuff is, it, it's, it's Dolce uh, upholstery. Uh, and it's you know kind of a very very high-end uh, upholstery and it is very very soft to the touch but a lot of times when I get in a very soft upholstery you know I'll get up and then it's all crinkled and it won't you know go back to form um, you know I just sat up there and it didn't crinkle at all um, you know but it's very very soft um, and then you know I don't feel like you know over the course of time that the you know the it's not doesn't feel like it's bottoming out it doesn't feel like it's going to stretch you know it's a very very just a just a very sturdy yet very comfortable upholstery and if there's one thing that like catch you know that just got my eye over everything else is the upholstery so definitely come in sit you know touch and feel the upholstery one other thing i like about the upholstery i'm sitting on this corner here that kind of you know comes outward I'm sitting here i've got my weight on it and not this cushion isn't popping up on me which is kind of cool um, most every company you're going to see the the cushion is going to start falling and and be like that the other thing is all the the barlettas have usb plugs in the upholstery for charging your phone or whatever every one of their seats has that as part of the boat which is pretty cool so another feature that barletta does standard on their boats um, which i can't believe hasn't been thought of before you've got this little serving table um, you know you can use for you know just placing your sandwiches out or whatever serving area you want um, but at the same time, you want to put it away, it slides and it actually doubles as a changing room. You can actually put a changing room in there and it doesn't interfere with these table legs. So it's easy and quick to put away. Simple as that. Another thing that just kind of drew me to these Barletta's was, you know, this is, I think, one of the cooler helms that I've ever seen in a pontoon boat. Um, you know, it's kind of low profile. It doesn't have kind of a chintzy windshield like some of them have. You know, there's good, you know, usable, makes sense storage. There's like a glove box here that you can throw some stuff in. You know, a lot of your access to your, some of your fuses are in here as well. Um, there's another storage container up over here to throw some stuff in. 
Um, the other thing, which dog owners will appreciate, you've got a, a water and food tray for dogs. And that's a standard feature built into the, the raised helm of the boat. Um, the other thing I like is that a lot of times I'm, you know, I'm, a, I'm 6'2", so a lot of times I'll get into a boat and my legs don't have any space, but I've got just a ton of leg room in this boat. Um, just, just a massive amount of leg room, which is, which is very good. Everything that you see on the dash here is standard. So this comes with this Simrad uh, digital screen here that, you know, this is in GPS mode. I also can move it to engine mode where I can get some engine data from Mercury, um, as well as do uh, like a speed control on it. So there's all kinds of cool data and different things you can do with this Simrad screen, which is a standard feature. This Hertz stereo system has four speakers and it also comes standard with a sub. So a sub and an amp are a standard feature on the L-Series as well. So again, stuff that you normally are gonna pay extra for. You know, you're gonna pay a couple grand for the screen, and then you're gonna pay a couple grand for the uh, subwoofer. That's a standard feature on a Barletta. Another feature that I just love is a power bimini top. Uh, so any of you guys who have ever put a bimini up or down for a trailer position at the end of the day, or you need to get the bimini down to get it in your boat lift or in your dock area, you know what I'm talking about. You know how annoying that is to, you know, you need two or three people sometimes to get the bimini down, put it down and all that. You know, with the, with the Barletta, it's just pushing a button. So, um, you know, the bimini's all electrically controlled and it moves itself down, compresses itself, and then there's two little magnets that will attach those rear legs down to the, to the boat and makes it all happen within just a few seconds. So I've talked today a little bit about uh, some of the you know, primary features that I think are important on Barletta, but, but honestly, there's way more that I didn't even talk about. So we don't wanna make this video a half hour long. So go to the Barletta website, uh, barlettapontoons.com, check it out, check out buckeyesportscenter.com to find out more about the features that are included on the L-Series boats. Um, next, we're gonna go into construction. Okay guys, I'm gonna talk a little bit right now about the Barletta construction. Uh, as we said earlier, Barletta is the you know, top of the line for premium construction, premium boats, um, and they have a lot of standard things that, you know, again, a lot of times to get the best of the best, you gotta start upgrading things and adding things and adding strikes and adding skins and all that type of stuff is standard on Barletta. So um, you can go to barlettaboats.com to get a little bit more insight on the construction, but I'm gonna hit on some of the highlights right here. Um, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is, uh, you know, they're, they're dual I-beam uh, cross members. So a lot of companies in the marketplace use a C-channel, which this is basically how you connect the uh, pontoon to the, to the plywood deck. And of course, uh, Barletta has a um, lifetime warranty on the structure of the pontoon, the plywood deck, um, all that. In addition to that, Barletta also has a 10-year warranty on other internal components. So, um, you know, their warranty is the best in the business bar none. Uh, Competitors use something like this to attach their decks. Barletta and almost the entire boat will use this dual I-beam setup, which is just ridiculously heavy duty, super beefy. You know, they know the customers are putting larger, you know, pontoons on there. And what, you know, they also use what's called VIP technology, uh, which is a vibration, um, it's a vibration pad that they put on to the, in between any metal to metal contact. Um, again, you can see that on the website, but where you have metal to metal contact, you're gonna have this, a rubber piece in between. That makes the boat, when you ride in these, you don't get that rattle, you don't get that vibration. It's very, very calm, very solid, just really rock solid uh, the way that it works. A few features that are standard on Barletta that you will not find standard on other boats. Um, this little spray rail here, um, again, keeps uh, spray deflected downward. So, you know, a lot of times you'll sit in that sideways seat and you hit a wake or something and you get a little bit of spray. You know, this feature standard even on a 2-2 Barletta, which is, you know, very nice. And they do a nice fit and finish on it. Real nice, real nice weld finish. You know, you can see this is the best in the business as far as, you know, quality solid welds, good fit and finish. Um, other things, the boat standard with this uh, keel which is not hollow like a lot of them are. So it's a, you know, just a full legitimate, you know, full aluminum keel that doesn't have 
you know, holes in it or anything like that. So again, just increasing uh, a little bit of, you know, if you hit a rock or something on the bottom of the tune or you're beaching the boat, you have a little bit more protection than the, sta than the standard. Uh, this particular boat also, actually this is on two tune or three tune boats, but there's an aluminum shield uh, protecting the plywood deck all the way up and down so that there's no plywood deck visible um, at all on any of their boats, um, whether it's a two tune boat or a three tune boat. So another thing that's standard on Barletta, again, normally an upgrade from other vendors, is you've got 26 inch tube diameters. A lot of companies use either 24s or 25s. They're 26 across the board and that's a standard feature. Um, on the tri-tunes, you're gonna have performance strikes in, uh, included. And you know they're not just a strake welded onto the side of the boat, there's actually a step so if you looked at the bottom of a performance boat or a fiberglass boat, you're gonna see multiple strakes and multiple steps. You've got that set up here with Barletta, and that's one of the reasons the Barlettas have so much lift. Um, and, you know, they turn on a dime. They, they really turn sharper and, and bite better than I think a traditional pontoon boat does. Um, you know, they really, really handle great. Um, and you know, again, it's not easy to you know, manufacture and you know, all weld that together, but uh, you know, again, that's a, when you get a tri-tune, uh, you get uh, on the center tube, you get two strakes on either side and on the outer tubes, you have them on the inside. Uh, you don't want to have them on the outside so that you're not fighting yourself in a turn on the outside tube. So as we get into bigger pontoons and you know, larger horsepower engines, both of these boats that we talked about today are both equipped with Mercury V8 250 horsepower engines, which will get the boats up, you know, perform into the, you know, depending on the load of people, certainly low to mid 40s, uh, you know, for speed. but you know, one of the things you don't want the, the motor pod to vibrate, you don't want the motor pod to, uh, you know, not be strong. So you see Barletta's got a unique motor pod design where, uh, you know, they've got extra ribs and stringers and uh, extra little things to enhance the, uh, just the general strength of that motor pod so that, you know, the boat doesn't vibrate and the engine doesn't shake. One final thing we want to talk about on the construction, which again is a little bit unique and different, is you know Barletta actually has a very short nose cone compared to other brands. They want the, the actual tube and the, what the performance of the boat to be elongated as, as much as possible. So you'll see this uh, nose cone is probably anywhere between a foot to two feet shorter than most brands, and that you know that allows by having that tube deflect you know go more forward that allows that nose to stay up in the air a little bit more. Again, it enhances performance, it enhances handling. Um, and then of course on the nose cone, you do have this nice well-designed uh, spray rail because this is where you get the most spray. Um, you know, in addition to the side rail on the, the regular tube, the nose cone does have a nice spray rail as well. So nice finish, soft. Um, it's not, you're not gonna cut your hands on it. Very, very good design on this guy. Thanks everyone for watching the video. Um, check out Barletta Pontoons at Buckeye Sports Center for 2019. Um, BuckeyeSportsCenter.com or BarlettaPontoons.com. Thanks for watching.